Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Leon Trotsky, and let us continue playing as the Russian SFSR. And today, we will figure out a name that we will call ourselves. But first of all, before we do anything else, let us... Actually, let's see. Oh, civilian construction speed is pretty bad. Um, Let's do a focus first. So, I could do workers' culture. Ooh, construction speed, I love that. It's already May 1938, and our construction speed's okay. We really don't have that many factories, especially military factories. We could use, of course, some steel. We could use all, all of this stuff. We could use more military factories, but... I believe it's time for me to go down... World Revolution, probably. Or maybe we should conduct nationwide inspections. We get a lot of political power, which is something we could actually really, really use. <clears throat> but this will also give you daily political power gain. Is there anything down here that we want? Political power plus 10%. Bonus for industry. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. White, white now? No. Right now. What we could really use... Well, I'm going to go under World Revolution focus anyways. So, <clears throat> uh, I, uh, I will do World Revolution. And that's because we're playing as Leon Trotsky. And... I had to look this up. I don't know this off the top of my head, but I just basically looked this up. Uh, first of all, though, get construction speed. Anyways, so Leon Trotsky, <clears throat> his goal, and this all plays into what our name will be, is that the revolution must be guided by the proletariat, and the proletariat must have quick, successive, socialist, communist revolutions across the world before all the capitalists gather together and try to crush the proletariat nation, or proletariat state, or class, or whatever you want to call it. Because that is his goal, because capitalists would see the power that the communists or the proletariat that they would have, and would want to crush them before they became too strong. So our goal is basically world communism. Our version of world communism. So that's why I want to call myself something else. But before we can do that, we have to <clears throat> remove Mongolia from the faction, as well as, unfortunately, Tanu Tuva. Now, I will add them in back fairly soon. But, our goal, we can now disband the Comintern. And this is what I'm going to call ourselves. We will create our own faction name with our puppet. And uh, there's a reason why uh, I kicked Mongolia and Tanu Tuva up. Uh, out and eventually they will be <clears throat> a little more integrated into our civilization, you will say, eventually. Anyways, <clears throat> so, since no one could agree on a single title for this, I'm just going to call this the Proletariat Mutual Assistant Pact. No one could agree on a single name, or even whatever I proposed. Must, mustual? No. Mutual. Proletariat Mutual Assistance Pact, also known as... PMAP. <clears throat> Dawn of the Proletariat Mutual Assistance Pact. So we're PMAP. Just because I'm thinking in the short term as well as the long term. Because if, let's say, Europe is going to go to war. And we somehow, for some unknown reason, get engaged in, into a massive war with, oh, I don't know, capitalists or fascists or something. We may have to redraw the boundaries of the world. In which we might have to rename ourselves once again because we might have to change who our allies are, who might be our enemies. So let's just say in the future we will change our name again to reflect our belief and position on the world stage. That's a fancy way of me saying we're going to change our faction name again with only our puppets. But anyways, if we can get Mongolia back in the faction, that'd be great. If they don't want to come, no, they got recently kicked out of the faction, so be it. I don't really care. Mongolia is not super strong, anyways. They got less than a thousand manpower. Eh. Tanutuva. Terrifyingly strong. The workers. Wait, did. Oh, this is. Yeah, this is row to 56. At, at, first, at first, I thought I was playing vanilla. But no, this is row to 56, so they had their own special focus tree, which is great. Workers' culture. Uh, oh, actually, they might go under isolated state now since I kicked them out of the faction. Interfering policy. Expansive policy. Well, if you want to go to war with me, so be it. I don't really care. I'll kick you down a couple notches anyways. Ideological fanaticism, conscription law, 
interfering policy. Interesting. Cool. At least he didn't go isolated. And our political power is pretty crap because we lost a lot of political power. Because we missed the five-year plan deadline. But really, <clears throat> my goal is to slowly, slowly, slowly begin industrializing. I'm going to put you below under all these civilian factories. Because we need a lot of industrial buildup. Right now we need a lot more artillery. But the guns we're doing pretty well on. What are we missing here? We're missing 100 and <clears throat> excuse me, 114 total artillery, as well as it over here. We need more artillery. Stat. Take off the guns. Give it all to artillery. Give, give, give. Now we make negative 4.4 guns a day. We make quite a bit more artillery, which is good because we're going to need a lot of infantry divisions. I still have my army, most of my army, positioned near Finland. Eh, whatever. So be it. I will move them around later. Oh, the 1938 World Cup held in France. Third edition of the tournament. 15 teams participated. Switzerland upset Germany in the first round, beating the Germans on penalties. Though the Swiss were knocked out in the next round by Hungary, the Hungarian team made it all the way to the finals, but were ultimately defeated by Italy. And this was Italy's second time winning the tournament. Brazil also defeated Sweden in the consolation final to get third place. Let's do it again in four years, when there's totally not a lot of war going on. Great. And we also have de-Stalinization progress going, more weekly stability, and political power, which is great. We could use so much more stability. 100 stability for the proletariat. Awesome. And I have you guys all the way back here for some reason. Oh yeah, I'm completely ignoring Spain. Uh, no one told me why I'm not getting any supplies. Maybe it was just a bug or something. Or maybe it still is a bug, because I still can't reinforce myself for some god-unknown reason. But overall, we're still doing pretty good damage to the enemy. Uh, we shot down one enemy plane, which is great. And I can send only ten more planes. Uh, I don't think I have any... I don't think I have ten more planes. Oh, maybe I do. Yeah, cool. I'm going to send them anyways, because why the hell not? We have soldiers in China helping them out. Helping the Chinese out. Hey, they actually did something. Great. We're holding the line, potentially, hopefully. God, I hope so. Wow, the Chinese are pretty much getting dominated. Oh my goodness, this is disgusting, yeah. Trying to help the Chinese against the imperialist Japanese. That's part of our plan to help stop imperialists, because the Chinese are pretty weak, but mostly because we hate the Japanese. But, you know, if we can help stop the Japanese advance, great. If we can't, well, we got a lot of army XP out of it. So, let's see. Oh, we're down 200 more artillery, so we only have a negative deficit of 1,000 pieces, or 1,000 point... Zero 09, so be it. Uh, oh, the Kingdom of Romania joins the, oh no, the Axis. Well, looks like I need more guns now. No? Good, we don't? Awesome. Oh, negotiate a license production agreement. The government of Czechoslovakia proposes a license production agreement. We would acquire the rights for the production of Skoda's high quality C5 mountain guns and R5 air and T air guns, whilst the Czechoslovaks are interested in our SB2 bombers for the Air Force. Should we negotiate the trade, comrade Trotsky? Trotsky, what the heck is this Stalin? Terrible. Wait, Soviets agreed to a license production deal. Uh, you know what? Bonus for support artillery? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Trotsky loves the, those arty boys, those Czech boys. Slavs United. Wow, that sounds terrible. Slavs United, who the hell says that? Go ahead and tell the Poles that we like their booty. Cool. Yeah, we'll get more construction speed because, baby, we need to build, 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 build. And, of course, we're defending, 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 and not doing so great. God dang. Oh, we're fighting tanks. No wonder. Yeah, eventually I'm going to move all these guys out. Move them further uh, west. But that's pretty good army XP. Not bad. We got a lot of naval and air XP, which is great before any sort of conflict that we might find ourselves sometime in the future. I don't know when that would happen, but you never know. Nice. Less than a thousand artillery pieces needed. We should begin to pump out quite a few art infantry divisions soon enough. But then again, our own divisions in the field need artillery before anything else. The Munich Agreement. No war this year. It looks like Czechoslovakia has basically been left defenseless. And the Spanish Civil War is raging on. The Nationalists have basically taken out the northern portion of Spain. This is not good. 
Guys, please don't attack. You don't have the resources needed for attack. Well, it looks like the nationalists do have more than enough supplies. My plants can only do so much. And we have mobile defense. Great. Let's get those 10 medium bomber wings over here. Uh, please. Oh, wait. I need. I can only send 9. Okay. Cool. Only 209 can be sent to Spain for some reason. Not sure why. God dang it, I just forgot that we had research slot available. Now I have two. Well, I missed a day. Oh well. Industry. Industry. ET. We did that. Army focus. Soft attack is... I want more soft attack and hard attack. Defense is pretty good. I love entrenchment a lot. But what about special research division? See, foreign subversive activities, efficiency, and effective partisans on us. Nah, breakthroughs are... Actually, breakthrough is pretty important. It, you don't really realize how important it is, so you don't, so you take less losses. Uh, army consumption, though, supply consumption is extremely needed. So I'll probably actually go under sacrifice. Uh, you get more factory output compared to organization, which is important. More research speed is pretty good, but construction speed. I love construction speed and expendable labor. Oh, I love it. You can't play communist people without having expendable labor. Oh, whoops. Anyways, and then you can get even more construction if you need it. On the other hand. More recovery rates, more division or less division attrition, max factories in the state, which is actually pretty good. Uh, production efficiency retention is okay. Reinforcement is pretty good. Re research speed, of course, is pretty good. Resource efficiency gain isn't bad. And this stuff is okay. So I'll probably go under here. Let's go under this and then go with supply consumption and g eventually get more construction speed because we're definitely going to need it. And since we're trying to get a heavy ship, let's make sure we actually research some heavy heavy guns at the same time so we got that going and it's 1938 can't research better heavy tanks yet uh... 1938 yep mm, that's 214 days ahead of time it's not worth doing that yet oh wait yeah it is 36 days hell yeah man better artillery i love it love it love it love it less than 900 pizzas needed for artillery great do a lot of damage. Uh, which side am I on? I'm on this guy's side, yeah. Yeah, this guy. Oh, we're losing. Crap. Uh, we're getting beaten pretty hard. It looks like I'm going to have to soon move our divisions further west. We're about to... Oh, well, maybe not get encircled yet. Uh, how are these guys doing? They're level 3. He's almost an infantry leader. This guy, Vasily. Pretty experienced guy. And he's level 3 as well. Oh, and he is an infantry leader as well. Hills fighter and ambusher. Workers culture. Nice. More construction speed, resource efficiency gain. Transformation of nature gives you more rubber. Construction technology bonus. And engineering investment or invest in engineering. So more industrial research speed, electronic research speed, production efficiency cap. And industrial focuses will now gain industrial push. Which grants more construction speed and factory output for 30 days. Ooh. Wow. Develop Siberian industry. Well... With that in mind, world, I want to make the world communist. That's really our goal. Per state of perpetual warfare would be great. But let's go ahead and do conduct nationwide inspections. I could really still use some of that political power. Even though that'll hurt us quite a bit for 30 days. God dang it. God dang, Japanese. Keep these guys here. If this Chinese division can stall along, can get in here long, fast enough. Never mind. Didn't work. Never mind. How is this going? Oh, it looks like, yeah, not much is going on. We, my guys probably got pushed back a little bit, and you're doing nothing. Cool. Not cool. You actually have to do something. Our bombers are veteran tactical bombers. Well, they're veterans, which gives you plus 30% agility. Wow, and bomber attack. Dang. Nice. We can finally make some pretty thick, heavy ships. Love it. Uh, let's see. Turreted secondary battery. These are really great. Well, actually, these are not bad. Wait, Persia accepts German demands. What? Or British... Except British demands. What the hell are you doing? Why did you let this become demilitarized? What the heck? Are you becoming slowly more democratic every day? 61.89% communist. Non-aggression pact with the British. Anglo-Iranian oil company. Corrupt bureaucracy and judiciary. Mm, I have to watch you pretty freaking closely now, don't I? Uh, Iran. Where's their focus with, like about the UK. Mechanized focus. Revive the Empire. That sounds kind of cool. Claim Iraq. The right ascent in 
France. Let's take a quick look at what they're doing. Air Focus. And they would support Daladier, or however you pronounce his freaking name. Daladier. French guy. Yeah, French guy. Cool. We still need more artillery, don't we? God dang it. Come on. Just poop them out. We need 618 units. We Oh, we are still building some of that. Uh, we do have a pretty good run of civilian factories. We have 83 right now, and I'm going to continue building more and more civilian factories. But at the same time, I'm still going to build at least one or two runs of civilian factories as well. I think that'll be handy if you build both in 1938 as a Soviet Union. I mean, by the time we beat our greatest enemies, we'll have more than enough factories, hopefully. And if we need more, then we can always build more, so that's fine with me. It looks like, actually, the Chinese have been able to push the Japanese back in the north a little bit while losing maybe a little bit more ground in the center. I'm not going to upgrade the 1940 artillery pieces yet just because the retention is going to be super bad. And I can get, an wow, an, another year? 1940, 1940 artillery in 1938. I mean, if you got it, you got it. I'm not going to mess that up. Uh, for this, go ahead and do that, I suppose. Why not? Nice. About 500 artillery pieces are still needed. Getting better and better and better every single day. I love it. You guys, tell the Japanese why they're wrong to get, invade China. Darn it, we no longer get the effects of destalinization. We get less weekly stability and political power now, but at least it wasn't very much to begin with. But at least we had a pretty good first attack. Great, we actually attacked the Japanese and pushed them back. Despite them being very deep into China. The fourth, oh, the fourth international uh, from communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference. With the supporters of Trotsky's theories take the lead, the groundwork for the fourth international is laid. Um, the news appears to have stirred Stalin's suspicions. Well, Stalin's dead. I don't know if you caught on yet, game, but Stalin, he's long gone. We even, ha we literally just de-Stalinized the country. Uh, so, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if you actually kept him in, like, an ice chamber, but I'm pretty sure we shot Stalin. But, you know, if you still have him around, please let me know, because we could really finish him off this next time. Thank. Hey, thanks. Bye. Cool. Go ahead and do that. Seven days until log logistic companies. How are support companies? 2.3 thousand. Not bad. We got a couple heavy tanks, which isn't bad. We might as well begin to slowly implement some heavy tanks into our... Divisions over here. Yes, it drastically slows down everything, but that's okay. Uh, put a lot of this on here. I'm not going to put on artillery just e yet. Oh, I don't have enough army XP now. God dang it. Oh, well. Uh, Czechoslovakia issued partial mobilization. So, be Oh, I don't have political power. What I could have done... Wait, Czechoslovak state? Wait, what? Sub-Carpathian Ruthenia? Oh, no. Did they join the Nazis... I just said the N-word. Not that N-word, but this N-word. The Nazi word. I already said it once. Whatever. They're missing some national spirits, but they went fascist and they're still alive. God dang it, Road to 56. What are you doing to me? Improve treaties with the Soviet Union. I think that's a great idea. Um, Should have guaranteed... That's what I should have done. I should have guaranteed Czechoslovakia's independence, which would have made France and the UK... I should have justified on them. And then the UK and France would have guaranteed Czechoslovakia's independence, but, uh, whatever. It's a little too late for that now. Uh, you know, whatever. Naval stuff. I need destroyers eventually. 1938, tanks, armor. I want that construction speed so badly. How are we doing? We're doing pretty well. We're almost on the next thing. I'm going to keep at least one line of civilian factories always working, but we definitely have to improve our military factories first. We must build, build, build. If I throw in a thing of tanks. Oh, this is a terrible idea since you're attacking into the mountains or hills. Absolutely terrible. And especially if they're dug in. So take the infantry and help attack as well. And since you're here, you might as well help attack as well. Nice. Well, we're actually winning the battle for these guys. Not bad. Pushing some nationalist Spaniards back. And there you go. Cool. Good job, guys. 
Oh, you helped your people out. Oh, finally, we have a uh, two divisions. Uh, actually, I should not have sent you up there. I should have sent you to this guy. Whatever. Basic heavy battery. Great. Uh, can we get this one? No, we cannot. It's, which is kind of unfortunate. It's still 1938. Naval Doctrine. I'm going to do Air Doctrine next since we can get better ground support already anyways. You guys join him. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start thinking about our Navy here. Heavy ship 1938A. Better heavy guns would be great. Level 2 will be okay for now. Uh, I want aircraft stuff. Oh, we need to get better aircraft stuff. Secondary batteries. And get the heavy batteries. And anti-air. I definitely want some anti-air on these boys. Definitely some level 2 battleship armor, which isn't as good as level 3, but whatever. Secondary battery 1. Heavy ship engine 1. At least we have some radar. Better anti-air. And then a little bit better heavy thingamabob. And of course, I'm not going to build that yet. We're not ready to build our ship yet, but it's good to plan it in our minds. So, Leningrad is still building some stuff up. We could get better artillery, but we still have a deficit. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to get rid of all these extra ships that we have in here. Because they're just so bad, I don't want them. Uh, let's take a quick look at research first, though. Naval stuff. M basic, medium, secondary battery. We definitely need turreted secondary batteries well before I build the battleship actually for real. And I definitely want better armor. At least we are now beginning to create some more infantry divisions. Now these guys aren't very good. They're only just infantry battalions. But it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. And you know what? Go ahead and add six more on the line. I could use six more. That'll be fine. Need a l Oh, we're going to need a lot more guns too. But luckily, guns are cheap. Guns are, guns and manpower are cheap for the Soviet Union. Uh, it's the, almost 300 days. 341 days. Torpedoes aren't bad. I want a better catapult. Yeah. Where are you at? You're over here still. Good. So at least we have four full armies on the European side. This side, not as good. That's okay. The fate of... Czechoslovakia. Okay, so Czechoslovakia was just annexed. They didn't have any sort of way out. Um, Actually, for you guys, this is going to be kind of ugly, but I'm just going to give this to... Actually, no, I'm not going to give it to you, because I think there might be something later on that the Carpathian Ruthenia does get annexed by Hungary, so I'm not going to mess with that. Improve artillery upgrade. Great. 1938. Hmm. Hmm. Better guns immediately. It only 165 days. We got six research slots. That's fine. Awesome. Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna take you guys. Oh, we don't have four full armies. We still need you to be buffed up. But you guys, you're on this side. You're in Asia. Put you here. Put you here. Great. Do something like that. Put you under. Sure. And put you under him. Do you... Um... God dang it. Hmm. Whatever. I guess I'll have to manually do that for right now. We need more convoys. For trade and supply. We definitely... Oh, man. We definitely need some more. Uh... Take one off. I don't really care about those subs. I'm going to delete those subs anyway, so it doesn't matter. Cool. How's this looking? Did we actually get supply through here? It looks like we actually did. Conduct nationwide inspections, which, which hurts us, but we finally have positive political power. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Militarized schools, aviation cult. Women in aviation. Expand the Red Fleet. Socialist science. I like that. More popul recruitable population and factory output. Hmm. Laboratory number two, further the progress cult, form additional industrial cities, develop oil concern, uh, let's see, monthly population, more max factories in a state, that's pretty good. Hmm, steel improvements, I like that. Oh man, some of this music is so old, and I love it. Communism, I do want 
more political power. But let's see, Trotskyite narrative, more political power plus 10% and more ideology drift defense. The people have been fed lies and slandered by the dead tyrant Stalin. We must put their ministries to task and ensure that the people are given the true story of our leader, Leon Trotsky. We must ensure that all within our nation know the wrongful nature which Stalin came to power and that the true heir to the Soviet Union after Lenin was in fact our very own Trotskinator. I want to do improve worker co uh, conditions. But, is there anyone here that could help us out immediately? Old guard for more political power. Well, probably not. Oh, wow. Consumer good factors really hurts us. Oh, baby. Over here? Hmm. Can I begin just, like, influencing people's politics? What about, like, Switzerland? Can I influence their politics? 0.10 political power a day. Basic inscription. Swiss banking. Fortification. Business. Swiss neutrality. No, that kind of hurts. Uh, Escalator Klaus and do, do, do. they still have FDR, Daddy FDR, Dominion of Canada. No one's really communist, which is kind of sad to be honest. It's kind of lonely being communist. That's why we must find our own communist friends, right? That's exactly right. Hmm. Are they going? They went with Indian National Congress, Two Nation Theory. Hmm. Unfortunately, most people do not want to become communists like us. Ah, there we go. Carpatho, Ukraine. <clears throat> huh. I would love to have more communist friends, but they don't want to be communist. Their dad tell them you can't play with communists. Engineers are fine with me for now. Hmm. I really don't know. I want to make more people communist, but there's really no one to make communists that <clears throat> I could influence in time now really isn't. I mean, France went democratic, so I am. I mean, eventually, we're just going to make them communists anyway, so it doesn't doesn't really matter. But... What about the Yugoslavians? Slavos. That sounds like a bad thing to say. Oh, you're a Slavo, eh? That's not bad, 120 days. What about boost party popularity? How much does it take to, uh, to stage a coup? Take 0.5 a day until it reaches 100 total. Huh. Hmm. Ideology dr drift defense. Honestly, at this point, Leon Trotsky knows that as much as he would like to go to war with everyone, because of what the UK are planning, we can't exactly do that. So we must build ourselves up first. So we kind of have to have a world revolution, but that'll come after we have socialism in one country first, if you know what I mean. So, we will must make sure that we ourselves can we can export the revolution. Uh, I, I don't want to lose any more political power because we really need some of these guys or some of these ministers and stuff like that to really benefit us first. Militaries, military theorists would be extremely useful. What about industry? Research speed is useful, but not extremely important. Designers are okay, but they don't give me any buff to actually doing anything with those. Just research speed. That's all it gives me. That's all they say they want. Well, let's get some more uh, <clears throat> army XP every day. Look, there's scientist. Ooh. Let's do that, because I need it. German Reich claims the Memel in 1938. Yeah, there's really no... I mean, I could do France, maybe. Guaranteeing the independence of Finland, Poland. What if I justified on Yugoslavia? Will that start in early World War II? That might start in early World War II. Nationwide inspections are done. Great, thank God. Nice. We're building quite a few more military factories, which is great, great, great. Could use uh, some more convoys, though, guys. Let's get rid of that one. Whatever. Just make a few more convoys. That'd be great. France. Does anyone go to war with Albania? We could go to an early war with Albania. Or justify on them so that the UK and France have to justify on. Or go to war with the Brits. That'd be interesting. I could really screw this world up. Hmm. Snorkels. I love snorkels, but they're too nerfed. This would give you... Eh, it's okay. E.T. Industry. 
Resource efficiency gain isn't bad. What about air stuff? 1938. We have tactical bombers. We got heavy fighters. We got regular fighters. Dive bombers might be okay. We will need some marine bombers. Eh, since we've got it, we might as well use it. So, do that. What is our supply like? We need a lot of guns. And since we are okay with artillery at the moment, do this. Yeah, we need a crap ton of guns. Ooh. Go ahead and do that for now. It's an unnecessary evil to switch production around. Ah, let's see. The Republican Spanish have been holding. The Republican Spanish people have been holding out pretty darn well, honestly. And it actually, looks like our guys were able to get some more supplies. But before we move on, uh, how are these guys looking? I completely ignored them for quite a while. Uh, looks like we, someone, someone here got an encirclement, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, baby. No, we got nothing to your level 4, though. That's great. And how are you doing, Chinese volunteers? You're okay. Spanish volunteers. Yeah, you got supplies. Some unknown reason, you actually got supplies. Go help these guys out if you can. Because I'm probably going to attack this direction next. Give them a little boost. Can? I don't think they can pierce us, no. Supply situation for tanks. Both light and heavy. Pretty good. Pretty nice. Awesome. Maybe we can get up to Barcelona. Maybe finally we can get up there. And I've completely ignored the time. Holy cow. Oh, Guanzi clique has failed. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good, actually. Can we attack here? Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, daddy. Constantin, do you have anything? Oh, Panzer expert. Yes, daddy. Yes, please. Oh, Japan looks so big. Oh, that's not good. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Um, We're going to have to form a defensive line. So, sorry, guys. Pull back. It is an unfortunate reality. Just make sure you get back there before your allies actually leave you. Now, let the Japanese take it for now. Defending over rivers better than nothing. And we're still attacking this one province. We're not being extremely successful. What if I send you this way, too? Uh, they're still not very successful. But with the tank in here, it might be a little better. Uh, the infantry got tired out. We won over here, which is awesome. And we have the Trotskyite narrative. Love it. Hmm. Subversive activities. It's only 35 days. We'll do that next. And that's where we're going to leave it here for today, guys. I've ignored a lot of things, but we're still in 1938. Right now, we are improving our military capacity for war. Trying to get more guns. We have begun to actually help out the Republican Spaniards a little bit more, in which they are not losing the Civil War anymore. And, unfortunately, though, our efforts in China have been less than fruitful in which the Japanese are pushing in very, very hard and unfortunately will probably eventually capitulate the Chinese. Regardless, so thank you very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you watching this. Uh, leave a like if you like the vid. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you tomorrow as we help export and defend the revolution and the proletariat. Thanks for watching.